This is a video abstract for the article Infrared Revisited. One of the problems with working with far infrared light is that normally glass is opaque to it. However, some objects like plastic trash bags are transparent in the infrared. Another such object is salt, sodium chloride, like this rather large and clear salt crystal here. But most importantly for physics is germanium, seen here in the shape of a lens. This visibly opaque metalloid has all the lensing properties of a glass lens. These will be found on most thermographic cameras, so they are not particularly rare or hard to find for this demonstration. Oh, what are these two amorphous blobs? Oh, that's good. It was just a person waving. In a moment of innovation, Far infrared light can be used to reveal the mechanism that drives the radiometer. It is uneven heating. Be aware that it will be necessary to break open a radiometer to show this effect. In the article, I also discuss experiments with near infrared light, like this one used to measure the wavelength of a TV remote control. A night light can also detect the infrared light of the TV remote control, which can be an easy way to prove that it exists in the first place. Getting more serious, we witness that some green lasers are emitting invisible infrared light. For your students' safety, you should investigate whether this is happening with your lasers.